second of this right now. We're jumping in. The battle of the century right now. <sighs> okay, this is going to be intense. Baby Star, surgical. There's the game sound loading in. All right, so Baby Star starting off with a controlling furnace. Going in with that furnace again. He's very I'm gonna confident. We're going to get hotter the as the matches go on. We're going to get this speed up right now. <laughs> this oh, already. Surgical's going with the Ice Golem Expo deck. Just look at how tanky that Ice Golem is. It's distracting that bowler for so much value, but. Uh, an Expo can't go through a bowler, though, so that's just going to take a long time to do a lot. Not if that Mega Minion is distracted by those guards. It survives bowler and then. Bowler gets two bowls. And then the furnace, yeah, it's. It's not going to end up getting to the tower. Maybe a shot. No, wow. Exactly zero. <laughs> right as it ends. Then a minor out of minion and ice spirit coming in. What a great ice golem pull right there where it just completely distracted the miner. Slows it down by 35%, but the minions still get damage on the tower. Just about 500 damage right there. Baby Star with the first definitive good damage on a tower. He is cycled back to the furnace, so is he going to be planted in the same position? He does on the other lane. So how do you get an Expo through a Furnace and a Bowler? We're about to find out if Surgical can get it done here. The Mega Minion takes out his Mega Minion because he has to drop his to take out the Bowler. And Look that Mega that. Minion lives with a sliver of health but gets distracted by those guards. Which provides incredible value for a positive Elixir trade. And that Golem just going out of the death damage of the Golem actually took out the Mega Minion. He only does 30 death damage, but he somehow took out that Mega Minion. That was an insane... A little bit of Expo goes a long way. As you can see, it takes down that right arena tower to 1936. Let's see what goes on next here. It's not like the most intense troops flying everywhere kind of battle right now, so this pace of voice doesn't fully make sense. It's more tactical, surgical, star plays. That was an amazing Ice Golem plant. I've never seen an Ice Golem finish off a Mega Minion like that. So he preemptively drops the Mega Minion because he knows he has to drop the Bowler. What else are you going to drop there? And then look at that. The other Mega Minion does not come out, so he's got a Mega Minion and an Expo. What's going on here? Mega Minion versus Mega Minion, but he's got the tower on his side, so it's going to take out his, and then the Expo's going for the Furnace. The guards keep coming out to distract those minions. What do you think about that? Look at the value fireball right there. And that expo survived long enough. If you noticed, took out the furnace, and now it's locked onto the tower. He has but to drop baby. an ice spirit because even with no health, an expo will do another like 500 damage. Look at that. Circles. Surgical is so aggressive right now with that expo. It's planting it, not giving me any any opportunity with the furnace. If it doesn't get checked, that. Oh man, the mega minion will take out the bowler. So there's no good bowler push, but. He can't get that minor and minion combo going. Baby Star can't because he keeps having to save it to take out this annoying expo that it's, it's just in his face. He can't it's stop anything about such it. Such a close match. Look at Baby Star. He's changing his play. He's planting the furnace on the left side. That way it's not going to be targeted by the expo. Now he's susceptible to chip damage on the left side. Oh, he's got double Furni going down the left side, as we've been saying. And the Inferno Tower comes out. And then the Ice Spirit's going to freeze it. Miner getting a lot of value. And then the Fire Spirits come in. Now, Chip we do have two cards now. that we haven't seen in Baby Star hand yet, so anything could happen. Wow, we really do. It's obviously not a rocket. Minion on is minion. Is that not obvious, is it? Is it? Could it be? I don't know. I think he'd be using it on the Expo. That's just me, though. If it is, oh man, that would 337 just... 337 damage. That is at lightning health right now. It could be taken out in one shot, but he chooses to go with the log. Log and this is log and very close What's right now. He lightning. lightnings the tower oh, and the, I thought the expo was gonna go for that tower. Wow, he that saved was that close. lightning. That expo would have uh, started chipping away, but he had the lightning in his pocket the I'm, entire time, saved it I'm for actually, that last blow. I'm a little surprised that he played the log rather than the lightning because he had the lightning the whole time. You see expo, ice golem, and mega minion, and you don't use your lightning. Kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, maybe he wanted to. Uh, Maybe he just knows the combination that works, and he's but like. But they oh. did have very flawless plays back to back, where he yeah. didn't really necessitate the lightning. Huh. That's that's interesting, though. He knows the bowler can get it done when it comes to stopping an expo, but uh, that Battle. was definitely one of the uh, in most intense matchups. Let's see if uh, Surgical sticks with the expo. So the radio hopping into the second match. It'll pop up on the screen very soon. Very very soon. But well, we could dance first. All right, here we Baby go. Baby Star going in with a classic Princess Siege. Even with that log, it still gets one hit off the tower, but both do about the same damage to the tower. Oh, just so many things to take out the hog. There was so many responses. That was a very good response to denying that hog. With that knight, it was a very good placement. But that miner, that surgical sent in, did deal more chip damage. Flawless minion play. Most yeah, likely, you don't want to 
like a Inferno Dragon and Mega Minion, you don't want to have to make a move too much because they're not really good at that. Yeah. Surgical trying to get the most value of that Mega Minion, but that Princess does take it out before that Miner can tank for the tower anyways. Just the same combo again. The Ice Spirit freezes the Hog, and the Knight takes it out before he can even get that one wow. swing. I thought it was going to swing right there. And this is the epitome of Surgical gameplay right here. There is no drop uncalculated. I doubt these players even see the cards as characters and animations more like just elixir values and X, damage y coordinates. values. Yeah, and they see the, the grid as literally a grid. Do they even see color is my next question. This is a 10 checkerboard arena. <laughs> We've been uh, streaming for nine hours. We need a break. I, I think... Anyways, helping back into the game, they're both at seven elixir. Eight elixir with surgical one elixir behind. Cycling right. in with the uh, skeletons. What is he going to do with that? He has a high cycle deck. Leave a hashtag Babystar or hashtag Surgical Goblin in the Twitch chat. Who do you think is going to be going? Oh, and then Surgical. Both of them trading. This is his rocket cycle deck, so he feels good about it. He has an Inferno in this deck, but he only uses it if he has... Wait, doesn't Yeah, he has an Inferno. There it is, for the first time. First, he first defended time. a hog twice without it. Yep. He knew that the Ice Spirit and the Knight would take out the hog, so he didn't need to spend that extra elixir. Since I knew the deck, but we hadn't seen it for two hog pushes, do I still get credited with the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> with the prediction. That is your 12th prediction today. Thank 12th you. 12th correct prediction, by the way. Thank Ice you. Ice Spirit freezing in the hog. That Mega Minion still survives. going to provide so much value. If you can get one swing off, that hog does get two swings. Right? Value right there. Value. The log's nice when it gets to go through skeletons yeah, and Look at that log going in for a positive elixir trade. And that miner's that. chipping away. Surgical is having a very good time right now. It's weird. Only about one out of every three or four hogs is using an Inferno as its counter. So with 20 seconds left, Surgical just needs to plant down an Inferno Tower. Just right there. Just play very defensively. Just needs to send in a Biner or a Log and it's a good game. One health, zero. The Log's there. And that's going to be 1-1. One, one. Your baby star, you know he just switched to his... Ro oh, the rocket into the corner. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. <laughs> Rocket on the corner is a celebratory victory. Yeah. I don't really just like launching it. Uh, it's cool when you burn it right into your King Tower. The rocket makes a really cool animation when you just drop it right on itself. Oh, yeah, because it doesn't it's fly. Like, it's like... <laughs> so the matches right now are 1-1 one, one for the Battle of the Century. And as it should be. But it will be the Battle of the Millennium tomorrow because there's going to be the top 16 players. It's going to wow. be even more skilled. What about the Battle of an Era? Okay, that could work. <laughs> Okay, uh, so, so we're just... waiting for round three here. I don't even know. The chat is so hyped. It's like, I feel like there's a silence that's fallen amongst this whole venue. Is oh, it uh, the eerily... earthquake stopped. Yeah. The they dancers. Stopped dancing. Anyways, jumping into the match right now with <laughs> okay. Baby Star versus Surgical Goblin. Going in with that aggressive Ice Spirit push. It's going to get onto the tower and deal 100 damage and freeze that Ice Spirit right there. Going for the thumbs up for that successful huge Ice Spirit push. How is he going to defend against those minions and the Ice Spirit? With the Knight, that's not bad. It prevents quite a bit of damage, given that with what he had in his rotation. So so that means if he does see a Hog Rider, which he won't be with this Bowler Furnace deck, he would have had to use the Inferno, but it's yep. all right. So Baby Star is back with his Bowler Furnace deck, mm -hmm. and Surgical has... And remember, this one had ho uh, Log and Lightning, which we didn't see till the last two cards in the first one. Yep. Very conservative with the lightning. Just he was confident in defending against the Mega Minion without using lightning. We see a lot of Inferno Towers right there for bowlers because they have to walk just close enough for the tower to assist. Yep. There we go. We're seeing the lightning a lot oh. more earlier with Baby Star. Look at that knight. As it comes out of its stasis from the Ice Spirit, the miner shoved a little back, denying any shoveling. Oh, Princess gets another shot on the tower. For a positive elixir trade. Surgical seems to have found his groove against Baby Star. And that in gets one hit off right there. Every little thing that can happen right is going right. Yep. That one night hit it may not seem like a lot, but that could be the difference between winning or losing the game later on yeah. in overtime. The Going rocket the goes rocket. out because he doesn't want to sit at 10. There's nothing else going on. But now, Baby Star has a 10. Well, the, yeah, since the rocket went out, it warrants a free furnace play, but. Surgical's not really worried about it with the Inferno, but now that he knows the Inferno's there, it doesn't have it for the bowler, but he can get back to it so quick, so I don't really even know if it really matters. Very interesting log there. He's just He chose to log that just to chip damage on the tower because two rockets now, and that tower will be down. He just needs to defend for another one minute. 
and it's going to be overtime. Couldn't he have hit the furnace and the tower right there with the log? No. Not quite. That's the spread it can't do? Exactly. It's 3.9 three. Three tiles. but Because it, it looks like there's only two between them. Yep. Oh. Just that it's point one tile away from it. Ah. Good to know. So with that miner going in, it does deal slow chip damage. So the counter to the miner has been Ice Spirit, then Knight. To re-aggro it onto the Knight. Yeah, he hasn't been using any other units. Just because with that miner on the map, now Baby Star has to deal with all of that stuff. Uh, 484 health. That, that Inferno is really close to that tower. Kind of interesting how he's playing so close because... Yeah. Uh, the rocket goes out and it's almost in slow motion, takes that tower out. It, it, it's This battle seems like it's really slow motion to me. I don't know what's going on, but... It's just the precision. Every unit is so valuable right now. The Inferno Tower is the MVP of Surgical's deck. Yep. And it's where he's placing it based upon what he's seeing. So, I don't know how to stop him. What, what do you well, use? You have to swarm him even more. One interesting play I found in that re in that uh, live match was yeah. uh, when Surgical used that rocket when he reached 10 Elixir first. He rocketed the tower, and yeah. what that kind of did was that put him back, that sent him back 3 Elixir. So that forced Baby Star to make the first move. With Baby Star making the first move now, now he knows how to counter it properly, so he can kind of counterattack even harder. Okay. So, that was kind of interesting, but that only works with that specific deck because it's so cycly and yeah. very specific. Being able to put down multiple Infernos for the same push is warranted only for a very few rare decks. Yeah. It's got to be really cheap. Typically when I do an Infernal plan, I'll do it four from the river and three from the Arena Tower, and that'll actually deny all Fire Spirits from coming in. Hmm. It won't even touch the Infernal Tower or anything like that, but um, Surgical did play it a little bit close. My speculation is that he wanted to, to hopefully tank for the Miner. Yeah. As well as take for the miner, space. and then he almost knew where the miner was going to be every time. Yeah. Also, Baby Star was planting in the front quite a bit in the very yeah. beginning. It was mostly front, and then maybe one or two on the right there. But Ice Spirit and Knight were the combo that shut it down most often. So Surgical needs one more. This could go in a three-one. Either way, these guys have proven that they could take down anybody sitting here today. <laughs> and they did. Yeah. <laughs> two losses. On 12 matches and 12, 12 wins. So 12 2. They each won a them. grand challenge. They each won one. Oh, so they deserve a legendary. Yeah. <laughs> Let's give them the graveyard. Let's do that with a click of a button somehow. I shouldn't have clicked that. <laughs> All right, we're going to be jumping into it here. We're waiting on uh, Baby Star to finalize his deck. He's just doing a couple changes. So it is Wait best out of five. Yep. And it's 2 1. Yep. So if Baby Star wins this one, it's going to go into the fifth match. That would be a sight to see. A sight to behold. <laughs> we need, we need <laughs> this has been a long day, guys. Um, oh my gosh, it's Nick and I love you. Thank you guys for tuning into the Twitch chat. Thank you guys for tuning in in person here. And all the people who have been participating today. We're about to get hyped up. I want this match to start. <laughs> Yarn looks mad. No, I'm just tired. I've only had a couple hours of sleep today. But this is very exciting, so... He's going to put a smile on. And look at this cute shirt. That. That's not a pocket, though. Yeah. So we will be jumping into the match. Baby Star is just figuring out a deck right now. It's going to be very soon. How about this? Make a new deck. Don't tell anyone. Yes. Or, or you could tell them, but that would be... It would ruin the point of making a new one. Some of the Twitch chat's hilarious. This is this is a long intermission. I feel like there should be a one minute timer that starts. But he's he's thinking, what do I do against a rocket, an inferno, yep. and an endless onslaught of cyclable cards? He obviously is thinking of something good. If I had to guess, I want to say witch. A witch. <laughs> That's all he needs. It's, so, what's your favorite part about the witch? I like that she can tank the prince. Oh, nice. that's nice. Yeah, that's, it's nice in the lower arenas, but a lot of people don't know how to deal with the Prince when you're Which level one. Which is one of the best set my giant push up after this deals with what's coming in cards. Yeah. Yeah. Like, think about it. Minion did, Horde, Prince. Your level it, three account destroyed my level eight account last night with the Witch Push. I did. It was pretty cool. Find out how we did it on both of our YouTube channels with the sneak peek that came out today. More coming soon or never. <laughs> All right, they're about to start. 
Right Let's there. go. It looks like they do have They're the four seconds in. Okay. Baby Star with an elixir pump and Surgical not giving him any value out of that, denying that. Oh eight wow! Elixir. So he's using the elixir collector so he can rocket his tower. Yep. That is a mind game. Let's see if it works out here. Very interesting. Mirror. Mirror. He just he just made this. He had to have. Wow. He specifically formulated this to be anti-rocket. Let's see how it's going to play out for him. I mean, with a new balance update, that elixir pump does generate eight elixir. Also, can we mention the fact that on his starting hand, he had hit the two cards he planned to lure the rocket, and Surgical had the rocket. That's pretty cool. Wow. <laughs> just the odds of what you guys just witnessed is one in an era. That Mega Minion is just slowly shutting down that skeleton army, but it does get past the tower. Rocket on the, Rocket on the minion, minion board. board. Interesting. Wow. But he, I guess he wanted to preserve that min, that Mega Minion because he had a Miner on there. Pumping up. Wow. And now he can mirror the pump if he wants to. Pumping up on the right side, Surgical is going to be less inclined to rocket it, but he might be saving his rocket for overtime, so he might not even rocket on the I left side. And Baby Star <laughs> Baby has Star? the rocket. Now, what are we watching, guys? This is so crazy. All right, guards taking out the princess, the log, deal with the cleanup. Looks like a zap bait deck where it's just mass hordes with a rocket cycle and the elixir pump. This is a classic elixir pump rocket from the pre balance. This is a classic know thy enemy. <laughs> Look at that rocket! <laughs> oh man, I'm losing it. This is, this is like a troll battle right now. <laughs> right? This is not real right now, but I mean, when your opponent makes a deck specifically to handle yours, it's Wait, how do you worse. know when you've been up so long and you're actually sleeping but your eyes are open? Are you dreaming? How can your eyes be real? <laughs> mirrors aren't real. Wait, did you just see that miner's path? Yeah, it went straight to the elixir pump, so that is very good value for that miner, despite both towers locked onto it. Oh, the mirrored, mirrored Skarmies! Skeleton Army. He's not going to have enough surface area from the rocket to take it out, but he does have the Princess and the Log, so that's a complete shutdown of the mirror. Going in for that rocket, it doesn't look like it's going to do much damage. Miner going in. Guards mispredicted. The Miner goes in, gets the hit. 25 seconds left in the game. That's going to be very hard for Baby Star to recover from this, considering what he has in the deck. If he can get the... He has a lightning spell and a rocket. What the? I did not expect that. I think he can take it into overtime, but I think he's going to suffer so much damage from having, having to place he's, that rocket and then mirror, or do a log. He can mirror log, mirror log, mirror log, mirror log. There it is. But then look how much damage you incur from having to take out a tower. It's right going to be game there. With A plus for creativity right there. Surgical Very takes nice it in four. I, I couldn't even breathe. That was intense. Yeah. It was unreal, but it was intense. I hope that was chat that was the most out of the most ballpark battle we've seen this this whole tournament yep and that turn that battle is what you're going to be left with going into the final and during that whole intermission baby star was uh very was pondering for a long time what could you do to counter it and the logic did make sense where the elixir pump does bait out the rocket but that just meant that surgical started using the miner even more yeah that deserves... I hope they did a long and hard handshake because that was some well-played matches on both yeah. sides. That rocket deck, I don't care who you are, I don't think you could play it as well as Surgical. Surgical has been has probably had hundreds of games of experience just to playing that rocket deck. He has won six tournaments in a row. First <laughs> so place. like a tenth of the ones that you've played with the graveyard. Exactly. Yeah. I have nothing against him. Yeah, I know. But I mean... What's 1v1 later? I was asked that last night at the uh, the hotel with some players, and I was like, I'm good. Did it Surgical ask you to 1v1? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm, that's I'm, what I was talking. I'm, I'm like, a little too tired. Yeah, that's what I was like. I actually have to go do a video. I'm sure you did. I did. It, it was <laughs> no, on .56 mega, megabit internet. Um, Nick did have to do that. So that this does close off the match for round number five. If you want to check out the brackets, you can type in exclamation bracket. Type that in the chat, in the Twitch chat. You can check out the brackets on tournament.com. And then we're going to be broadcasting the top 16. However, even though Sir, uh, Baby Star lost, I'm not fully convinced he's not in the top four. There is a possibility that he could still be top four. Yeah. We should check the standings right now. Yeah. Let's see what's updated and what's not. Uh, here. There you go. And then just minimize that one. All right. We're going to hit refresh on here. And Baby Star is still ranked two because of where he lost. And who he lost to, I believe. That's how those rankings work. He has yes. eight points, and no one else has eight. So he will be going to the final nonetheless. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like uh, despite these players 
if they do win the fourth match, they won't be ranking. They They'll be at eight, right? Yeah, they they won't be outranking Baby Star just because Baby Star has reached four first. So that might put him at number. He might be locked down I don't know on number two first right now, or because he lost to number one. I don't know how they how they do the the tie breaking, but I could. This is going to be crazy. I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll so surgical. How many people haven't lost? I'm not totally sure. It would take a few different pages to figure out. Uh, how many people haven't lost a single match? Surgical has lost three matches out of 15. Or like, who, how many people have had five W's? Uh, if we switch over to... Uh, we, could, we could look it up before... I think that'll be a good stat to pull for the final tomorrow. Yeah, we can we'll look at round, the stat tomorrow. Or group one, two, three, and four. See who's undefeated. Make our list of favorites. Well, we'll do a top three. Yeah. A little friendly challenge. Loser is uh, Oza Super Magical. No. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll buy you a free chest. All right. <laughs> I'll get you one of those uh, French McChicken things. That was delicious. Yeah. French Big Mac. Yeah. That's interesting stuff, guys. But that is uh, a lot of action today. Long day. That does we need a long rest for today. It is going to be the end of it. You saw it. Surgical Goblin went undefeated here. In group number four, we're going to be back tomorrow with a 16-player uh, bracket for the final. And the finalists are going to be over on the main stage, which is going to be awesome to watch. Thank you, for everyone, for tuning in via Twitch, via the actual venue itself. I've been Nick at night. And this day has been really lit. Stay tuned tomorrow on Sunday for more quality OJ.